ladies and gentlemen, we are about to go into the deep heat in more than half of the country. And they said this is going to become the new normal. So it's not just here, but globally. So the world entering new climate regime of extreme heat waves caused by human induced climate change. So they said this heat that we're about to feel, because it's coming for us this week, where I am in the Northeast, <laughs> we getting ready to fry. So this is, they said, get used to this because this is going to be the new normal for most of us here in the United States. So soaring temperatures are becoming more frequent. And according to the study, will only get worse in the years to come. The world can expect to see extreme heat waves occurring two out of every three years, even if global warming stops at 1.2 degrees Celsius. The world will experience extreme heat waves every year if global warming tops two degrees Celsius. The world is entering a new climate regime in which extraordinary global scale heat waves that cannot be explained other than by human induced climate change become the norm. A new study says between May and July 2018, 22% of the population in the Northern Hemisphere experienced extreme heat waves that would not have occurred without human induced climate change, according to researchers for the study published this week in the journal Earth's Future using newspaper articles about heat-related impacts, observations, and climate models, and researchers conclude that heat waves will likely reach highly dangerous levels over the coming decades. Soaring temperatures are becoming more frequent and according to the study, will only get worse in the years to come. In the future, the intensity, frequency, and Earth's heat wave area over land are projected to drastically increase, the author wrote. The authors note that should global warming be halted at 1.2, I'm sorry, 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre industrial levels the world can expect to see extreme heat waves occurring two out of every three years. If global warming tops two degrees Celsius, the world will experience extreme heat waves every year. Scorching heat is becoming a mainstay throughout the world with some cities seeing the highest monthly temperatures in history. On Monday, India's capital city, New Delhi, reached a stifling 118.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo, that is flaming. The highest record temperature for June in the city, while in Rajasthan, desert city of Churu, the temperature climbed 123.4 degrees on Saturday, just shy of the country's all-time high of 123.8 degrees. Woo, now that is frying. Wow. Although this week a heat wave in South Texas sent temperatures into the triple digits topping one all-time June record and pushing heat indices above 120 degrees in some locations. A similar scenario was taking place earlier this week along the West Coast. And yes, I did hear from True Royal how hot it was there out in the West Coast. In fact, I did a video on it. It was 
several locations out there that were in these deep, deep, hot, flying temperatures where temperatures reach 100 degrees at the San Francisco International Airport, the highest temperatures recorded for any month other than September. Mike Rantanen, a meteorologist at the University of Helsinki, tweeted last week that there are no known causes in Finland's climate history when it has been hotter than now, so early in the summer. And they said, this is going to get worse, y'all. Finland? <laughs> Woo! Frying in Finland. So historical chart, there are no known cases in Finland's climate history when it's been hotter than now so early in the summer. And they're showing you the whole area <laughs> in June where it was frying hot over there. Damn. You know, and Europe is usually one of those places that did not get that hot. But now we are seeing the changes. I, I mean, look, I was expecting this to be a hot summer even before this announcement from the Weather Channel. Because usually, you know, for us, I always notice this. If we have a freezing winter, which we did with the polar vortex and people going well below zero degrees, Usually the summer will come on strong with the heat and we are seeing it. Places are already reaching high temperatures and we're still technically in spring. We have not even reached summer yet and, and look at what's happening. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.